Race 5, the Cheltenham bumper. Yawn. Two miles. One Cleveland soldier for Vinnie Gerard, along with Fred No Park. In the stars of David Hooley, Rebellion for Paul Rhodes. Esther Tide Revelation for James Shea. Notting Gal, but then Benici Reg Regent. Regents? Regents? That's what Regents try to do. Regents forward for James Shea. Sean Sessa for Paul Rhodes and the Wood Spirit for Leon Van Rensburg. Makes up nine. Two miles on the flat here at HQ. A rare commentated bumper race. It was by mistake. But I thought I'd do it in the end. It's almost like doing a two mile flat race. So as we wait for to settle, Wood Spirit reluctantly pulling for his head. He's going to lead them from out wide in the stars. She was really uh, Paul's sharp cess. They're going to let Wood Spirit go on his own. A couple of lengths. The rest all chasing. So Wood Spirit. Go past the grandstand. Circuit to go. It's wood for spirit from Sean Sessa. Esther Time Revelation, the Green Silk's Red Cap. James Shea, and his Regents Forward. Inside of that is the other Green Silks of Cleveland Soldier for Vinnie Gerard. And the Blue Silks of Nottingham for Ben Bonici. So many of Ben Bonici's horses on the hunt. Good luck in this one. Just followed through by Vinnie Gerard's Fresno Park and Paul's Rebellion. And in the stars, just the real for David Hooley. As we know, he has some great fast finishers. It used to be that Leon Van Rensburg's horses would be at the back and win. It seems that uh, David Hooley's taken that over. But it's Wood Spirit that leads by about 4 5 from Sean Sess on his own in second. Then you've got Regents 4, there you 1 2 3. It's Wood Spirit, Leon Van Rensburg. A winner in the first uh, four races today. Josh Southern started off well with winning the opening two. It's Wood Spirit. Put my cameraman on MDMA. It's Wood Spirit from Sean Sessa. Fresno Park Bushes for Estelite Re Revelation on the outside. And you've got Regents Forward. It's Cleveland Soldier. Rebellion. Oh, we've lost one in the stars. Pulled up. I didn't see that. Sorry, Mr. Hooley. You're not going to win this one from the back. He's pulled himself up. A very rare pull up. Especially over a two mile flat race. Poor old Nottingham for Ben Benici. Maybe that's why you don't have many horses in the national hunt. Because that one's getting well tailed off now. But it's Wood Spirit still leading as we come down to the final half mile. The two that are going to throw down the challenge are James Shea's Estelide Revelation and Regents Forward. And it's Estetide Revelation that's going to try and uh, spin Wood Spirit. I think Wood Spirit's got plenty left. We've got three furlongs left to run, and Wood Spirit's uh, maintaining his lead by a good couple of lengths from Estetide Revelation. Cleveland Soldier and Fresno Park are under a lot of pressure now, along with Rebellion. The two at the back of Regents Ford and Sean Sess are not going to win from there. So as we come down to the final quarter mile, it's Wood Spirit leading comfortably now by about four. Is anybody going to catch him? I'm not so sure. Seems like we might have this in the bag. Still only got a furlong to go now. Jockey looks around, looking cheekily around. Cleveland Soldier might get up for second. Fresno Park probably third. They're shortening the gap a little bit now as we come inside the final half. And it's Wood Spirit. He's just got to hang on to this. The post is going to come in time. Wood Spirit from Cleveland Soldier. Fresno Park was third. Rebellion was fourth. So a win there for Leon Van Rensburg. Well done. Picks up the Cheltenham Open National Hunt. Hunt. Flat race here at Cheltenham with Wood Spirit. Followed through by Vinnie Gerrard's Cleveland Soldier and Fresno Park for two and three. Rebellion for Paul Rose was fourth along with his Sean Sasser in fifth.